She is the founder of the Fabienne Collat Foundation and has dedicated her career to promoting cultural diversity in the arts. Launching the Montreal International Black Film Festival is just one of her many accomplishments. And for that, she will be awarded with an honorary doctorate from Concordia University's Faculty of Fine Arts during a spring convocation ceremony next month. And joining us now is Fabienne Collat. Fabienne, welcome. Thank you. Thank and, you so much, Maya, for having me. And and congratulations. I mean, your your fait de route, if you will, is is very impressive. You're an award winning actress. You're you're a filmmaker, a producer. Uh, it's hard to even get it all into an introduction, but obviously that has been recognized. So, I'm curious when the president of Concordia University called you up and said you're getting an honorary degree, what was your reaction? Well, first of all, when he called me, I honestly thought he was gonna, he was trying to recruit me to be part of the committee that will select other people for that <laughs> award because it started to, you know, we're celebrating 50 years of Concordia University this year. It's very important to us. And, you know, every year we have a committee. Um, that decide was going to get, you know, some uh, the, the honorary doctorates and everything else. And in my head, I'm like, okay, he wants me to be part of that committee because it's important, you know, and to select people. Or I was wondering whether he would ask me if I know somebody wonderful, you know, to be, to, to, to be nominated or something. And then when he said it was me, <laughs> I could not, could not believe my ears. Never, ever would I, would I have thought that. So um, I paused. It was, uh, I was speechless. And uh, I remember telling him, it's Mr. Carr. I said, what, what, it's an honor to, for me. What do you say to that? And he said, well, I hope you say yes. And uh, that was it. That was, um, that was a dream come true that I did not dream. I did not have the time to dream that moment. Wow. So uh, you said yes. <laughs> and uh, you will be officially receiving that honor, uh, as I mentioned, at a, a convocation ceremony coming up June 6th. Uh, one of the many things you've done, as I mentioned as well, is you founded the Montreal Black Film Festival. It's been running for two decades now. It's bilingual. It's grown every year. What motivated you to start this? Because there's already so many festivals in the city, but you obviously felt uh, the city needed to make space for another one. Well, 20 years back when I came here in Montreal, uh, trying to make it as an actress, um, I was not a filmmaker yet uh, at the time, let alone being a producer. And I could not find ways to, I could not find work. I could not find my way in because 20 years back, we had no Black Lives Matter. We had um, no diversity all over the place included um, in the, on, the, on the big or silver screen. So it was a very different world. And when I saw that there was no space for somebody like me, to get auditions or jobs as an actress. Then we recreated the Fabian Colas Foundation here because it was um, already in Haiti for a different mission. And our, our, our mission was to really foster diversity and inclusion on screen and behind the camera. And that's how we recreated the, we, we created the, the Montreal uh, International Black Film Festival. And it's been, yeah, two decades. And uh, we also have the Toronto Black Film Festival, Halifax, Vancouver, Ottawa, Calgary today, and so many other things. So we're very happy that the, the audience um, followed and then supported us. Okay, and uh, with just about a minute left, you're the first Haitian-born Quebecer to receive this award. You came from another country. You chose to make this province your home. What do you say to, you know, other aspiring creators, artists uh, from various cultural communities who are who are trying to make it? Well, I would say don't give up. Um, just keep going. If you have a dream, if you want to do something, if it feels right to you, pursue it. Because everybody tried to get me out of being in the arts when I started because it was so hard, especially parents from the South. They want their kids to be doctors or lawyer or anything. Nothing wrong with that. But if you want to pursue something different, keep going, you know, work hard, continue. And then one day it may pay off. All right. Fabienne Colas, uh, I'm sure that's a, a welcome message for many hoping to follow in your footsteps. Thank you again for your time today. Congratulations and uh, looking Thank forward you. to seeing more of your work. Thank you. Thank you so much.